Hello, it's me, and I'm um, going to go through some uh, more recent puzzles that I got. This is called the Rainbow Cube and the Rainbow Plus Cube. And the question that you probably have is, is it worth it? Is it worth buying it? How is the movement of it? How does it correlate with other puzzles? Is it worth it for a collection? Is this all strategy anything of a challenge? Uh, so we're going to get into a little bit of that. Now I'll tell you, this is kind of a trivial solve. Uh, this one is uh, more difficult, so I'm going to be focusing more on that. This is going to be very, very quick. So what is a rainbow cube, really? Well, a rainbow cube is really basically a dino cube. So if we take a look at what a dino cube is, is if we were to look at this as a, as a six-sided puzzle. So let's say... I'll put the white on top here, and we'll put the red here. So these sides all correlate with each other, although the color's a little different. Um, so if we say that these are the sides over here, uh, then these are the corners of our dino cube. And this turn is equivalent uh, to this turn. So it's really the same turn, and with each side you have one, two, three, four ways to do that. Same thing here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically it's a dino cube, and the solve is, um, was, is pretty simple. There's no parity that's involved in it. The main difference is that a dino cube does not have a center that you can see. Here, they've got a center that's revealed to you. So if I were to go through a solve of this, uh, the scramble is pretty quick. You can see the movement is great. This is by Whit Eden. Uh, so if you are into looking at variations of dino cubes, sure, it could be worth it for your collection. Um, just going to sort of throw caution to the wind here. Now, I would say this is probably even easier than a dino cube because the thing about a dino cube is you don't know where the centers are. So if you don't coordinate your, your um, side colors quite right, that could be something of an issue. So if you correlate that with this. Now, there's a degree of complexity in the dino cube or in the rainbow cube that you don't see with the dino cube. So you can see that both, you know, neat looking puzzles. In terms of the solve strategy, it's pretty easy. For a dino, it's just a matter of lining your your uh, corners up here, basic, basically. So right now, you're not sure where your various colors are. So we assume that this is gonna be the green and the yellow. Looking for another green. Here's another green over here. So really, I'm just doing these corn moves in. Uh, I have no algorithms that I need to show you because I don't think that's really necessary. Just if you move it enough times, you're probably going to run into solving it. So to move this up without hitting this, bump it out of the way, bring it down, move it in place, and bring it up. Okay, so you've got all this over here. Now it's just a matter of rotating these pieces in. So yellow and orange, simply go pop, there it is, in and just keep rotating, you're bound to find it. If you don't, red and uh, we can actually turn this upside down. Moving this over to here, uh, it's always gonna be like a cycle of three. So move this up to where you want it, put this in to where you wanna place this, bring it down, bring this back up. Okay, so inevitably, once you have this, you're only gonna have one situation left, and that's gonna be one that's in, and the other that's rotated correctly but not in the right place. So when that happens, take the two that are not rotated correctly, grab it on the side over here, and you go down. So you're doing down, down, up, up, starting with the two that are not rotated correct. So you go with the uh, one that is rotated correct and placed behind you, down, down, up, up. Okay, so a fun little uh, fidget spinner. Actually, it's um, got the same complexity as a fidget spinner in terms of a solving strategy, but it's pretty easy. So how does this compare? Well, the main difference is I, um, I, I, I know where my center is at, so I know what colors are supposed to be where. So you can almost just solve it like this were the top. So if I see my green, I start off with a green. So I'm gonna find where the other greens are. And the interesting thing about this is it doesn't really scramble. If I just keep turning it, I'm gonna run into it. See, it's almost trivial. So this, uh, this didn't really get scrambled with anything else. Now these aren't correct. So I'm just going to line it up. So that's over here. Find the other green and white. Well, like I say, it's pretty trivial. Uh, here's the other green. Just move this um, around until I'm right below where I need to be. Okay, so I'm gonna call this the first side. Okay, so first side over here. So I'm gonna look for the other purple and white. Purple and white right over here. So I'm just gonna avoid this side that I did. Move it down, across. 
And again, no algorithms are needed, and I, and I just pop it in. Okay, so I can put the other white one in. Here's the other white one. So this needs to come up to here without taking this one out. So bump it out of the way. Bring this down to this bottom corner level. Move it in, move it up, and that's done. Coming over to here, we can find the blue, the purple and blue. And our purple is right over here. So that's actually where this orange wants to be. Oops, and that's where this wants to be. So let's move this out of the way. And I want to bring this into here. So bump it out of the way, bring this down, move it into place, move it up, and that's in. And that freed up the purple one here. So now here, here's what's interesting. Once you've gotten all of these, and you've gotten these guys over here, you're going to find something interesting. It kind of solves itself. So let's say I want to put a blue one in here. I'll move this into place, so now this blue one is uh, is in. So now I want to put this purple and blue one in. And that's going to be right over here. So here's the bottom layer. So to move this into here, bump it out of the way, move it down, turn it in, move it up, and the whole thing is solved. So basically, all you did is you put all these um, <clears throat> corners in where the center is. You simply place these by using the bottom layer to move things around. So you would move it down. Well, if you had to move it into here, move it out of the way, down, move it in and up. So, and then the thing got solved. Okay, I know that was pretty quick, but this is not something that you should really look for tutorials on because it's something that I think you can figure out. It's really more just a matter of placement. This guy is a little different. So <clears throat> there's a couple things about this puzzle. Uh, first off, what is it? Well, the way it moves is you have your classic dynamoons over here. And that's pretty good. That's okay. It's a little clunky, but it's, uh, it's not bad. Pieces do tend to fly out, so just be careful with that. This is okay over here. But in addition to that, you also have two by two moves, classic two by two moves. And that's gonna be across this a line over here. So, so that you know where the two by two moves are, just hold what looks to be the cube portion in front of you. So you have front, top, right, left, back, and down. And then you can turn it like this. Now this is turning pretty well clockwise, but help, Heaven help you if you try to do it counterclockwise. Every time I do, for some reason this has a very, uh, for some reason this has specificity for a clockwise turn, and it's not bad. So to turn it counterclockwise, I would struggle with it. It just won't do it. Now maybe there's ways that I can lubricate it or loosen it, but it just won't do it. It's completely locked. Not sure why that is. Why there's a, a preference toward that. So anytime I want to do a clockwise turn, so if uh, if I want to do a, um, a counterclockwise turn, then I would just do three clockwise turns. One, two, three, and that's all across the puzzle. I'll go like this, clockwise, works great. Try to turn it back. Well, I didn't complete the turn, but if I complete the turn, very difficult. It's not impossible, but it's so difficult that it's not worth it. I just do three turns. Okay, so that's something to, to bear in mind. Now, I know a number of you had some difficulties with this, so it is worth going through a strategy with the um, Rainbow Plus Cube. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an algorithm that is gonna be useful to you for the very, very last step. A lot of people will have it down to the last two of these wedges, and because the two by two moves cause some trouble, it's not as trivial as the Rainbow Cube. So. How to design a commutator. Well, I would encourage you to not watch what I'm about to do, but just kind of do it yourself. Um, but if you've tried that and you just need some way of moving these little guys around, because you're probably headed to a point where you uh, had some of these that were upside down or they had to be flip-flopped, two had to be flip-flopped, you weren't able to reduce it the way you would a four by four. So that's when a, a commutator or an algorithm can come in, um, can become useful. So what you would do is you, just take uh, two moves and undo the two moves and see if you can isolate pieces and do a middle move. So I'm going to call this an R. It's a dino move, a dino R, and I'll call this a 2 by 2 U. So let's just do a commutator and see if we isolate something. So, I'm, so holding this in front of me, this is the front, uh, this is the up side. So we're going to go R, so this is an R to the side, R, then a 2 by 2 U, then an RI, 
Now I want to do a UI, but it's, oh, there we go. <laughs> I could do it, UI. Okay, so let's take a look and see if there's any pieces that are isolated. And I find that on the bottom here, this piece, this one piece is isolated, which means nothing else got affected by this algorithm except this one piece. And because I can move a, uh, that in a certain plane, then I can design a middle move that'll move this with some others. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a D move. Yeah, a D move. So this will be a D move over here, boom. Just moving this into that spot. Then I'm gonna undo my middle move. So if I did R, dino R, two by two U, dino R I, two by two U I, I'm gonna go U R U I R I. So that's U R U I. Now if I can't do the U I, I'm just gonna do a three U, one, two, three. That's my U I and then RI. And then I undo that move, that middle move with a DI. If I can't, I'll just do a 3D. One, two, three, okay. So then we take a look at what we did and we find that we only affected three of these pieces, which is nice because when you are, if you've reduced it to a rainbow puzzle, then you may find yourself having to deal with these guys that are not quite reduced, that are not in, that you have to go through the reduction to uh, deal with some parodies. So what happened is that this piece here, this blue and white, slid over to here. So you've got this bottom slice here, this top slice, this slid over to here, where the blue is still here, blue and white. This one crossed over, flipped to here, this blue and orange flipped over to here, and this red and uh, blue flipped over to here. So this flipped. So this slid, this flipped, and this flipped. And that's it. Uh, the rest is set up. So if we're just to do it for practice, once again, R, U, R, I, U, I. Do our middle move here with the D. Then U, R, U, I. See that? All right. That happens all the time. And you're gonna, you're gonna see it happen multiple times. But it's very easy to pop in. And we move this back. If you can't, just do a 3D and you'll do it. Okay, so the final move of this, this will slide into here to be in the right place. This blue and red is gonna flip over here to be in the right place. And this blue and white is gonna flip over here and be in the right place. R, U, R, I, U, I, two, three. Middle move. Then U, R, oh, did it do it? Yeah, U, I, R, I, and move it back, one, two, three. Okay, so with that said, that's the only algorithm that you're gonna need to know. And I would encourage you, when you first buy a new puzzle, if it looks complex, go ahead and just do some moves and undoing of the moves. Find a middle move, uh, then undo the whole thing and undo the middle move. You will be able to easily design um, algorithms. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and give this a scramble. Okay, now I'm sure that this could be lubricated or done better. Do some dyno moves. Now we'll go ahead and do some two by two moves. And my goal is just to make sure that all the one, two, three, all the various edges here are scrambled and reduced. Okay, is that good? Eh, maybe a little more. And even as you're solving it, you're kind of scrambling as you're solving it. So if you don't think you had quite a good scramble, then that's okay. So you can see the movement is pretty good just by doing the moves that the puzzle can do. And again, I'm sure with tensioning, maybe I can get it to do those counterclockwise moves, but you know, honestly, it's just fine for me to do it like this. Okay, so I think I think we got it pretty well. Um, all right, so it's scrambled, and I always thought it looks pretty neat scrambled. So it's got a nice little, almost crystalline look to it. Okay, so how do we approach this? Do we just reduce it to this guy and solve it as this? Well, we can, but if we're reducing it to a rainbow cube, then you might get some parodies and that might be hard to, uh, uh, to deal with. Uh, do we reduce it to a dino cube and solve it as that? Well, what we can do is 
start to reduce it as a two by two, is what I would do. By reducing it as a two by two, if I'm doing these moves over here, all of these pieces here are corners. So this, 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 and this, these four pieces together are corners. So these are corner pieces here, and you can solve it like a two by two. So we could reduce all these corners, and there's four of them, just like there's four corners here, solve it as a two by two, or we can reduce it as a dino cube or a rainbow cube and solve it as a rainbow cube. So here's what I would recommend. Here's how I've taken to doing it. I'm gonna start off by reducing the top as corners of a two by two. What I'm then gonna do is start reducing these almost like a layer by layer approach. Okay. Um, so we'll start off with the green part. It's not really the green side. It's fine, the green. Now bear in mind too, we have to get the right orientation of these corners, which could be difficult. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first look for the, the dino piece here that has a green triangle. So here's a green triangle here. Now you're gonna find something that might happen is that you can't get it in because it's upside down. It's gonna stay upside down because it's in the wrong orbit. It's in the wrong orbit because when you scrambled it as a two by two, you took it out of the parity that it had as a dyno. So what you're gonna do is if it's upside down, simply do one two by two move opposite where this um, center is. Well, this, this center portion of the dyno. So in other words, you don't want to do it up here and do a two by two move. You wanna make sure that this piece is on the other half of your two by two move. So right over here. Move it over here, and once you've done that, you'll find that you can actually dino this. <laughs> you can lose an eye that way. Dino this right into here. There's only one way it goes in, so it's not cheating. Okay, so that's it. Next step is find another green and white. So green and white, green and white. A little bit of hunting for the green and white. Or any, any green, doesn't really matter. Green, green, aha, green, right, right over here. And it happens to be the green and white. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put this over here, but you can see it's in the right place, it's just upside down. So do a two by two move opposite to where this center is. So move it here, hopefully without losing an eye. Put this here, and boom. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're reducing basically a two by two corner. Uh, find another green right over here. So let's see if it happens to be upside down as well. And it is upside down, so simply do one move, a two by two move, and it'll be in the right orbit at that point, and bang. Okay, so we have this over here. Uh, the next step is uh, to continue, what I'm gonna do is continue to reduce four of the corners, of the two by two corners. So I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna make white sort of my focus. So once I've done four, two by two corners, I'll have half the puzzle done. So let's find another white one. Now, I don't know if this is the correct center over here, a center to the corner. I don't know if that's the right color. Um, but I'm gonna look for the white one, and this is gonna tell me where the center is supposed to be. So I don't see that there's a center here that's where it's supposed to be here. So what that reason for that is because when I was doing my two by two moves, I scrambled these central pieces away from where they're supposed to be, out of configuration, so this sort of help guides me. So where's the dark blue one? The dark blue, dark blue's right here. So I need to move this in conjunction with uh, this side here, where the white is. So I'm simply gonna do two by two moves until I get this center either here or here. It's not, I'm not sure where exactly yet, but there it is now. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna find the whites with, see this is a purple, so that's gonna come in later. Okay, here's the blue over here. So let's see if we can't move this in. Now, uh, the problem is that if I move the wrong one, I'm gonna to start to de-reduce this. So let's move this around. And as you can see, this is upside down. So we know how to deal with that. So what I'm gonna do, and we have to be wary of this, so sort of keep in mind that this is the top layer, this whole thing's the top layer. So when I do movements to get in the right orbit, I'm gonna be moving from the bottom here. So this is upside down, move it, and then we can just have faith it's gonna go in the right direction. Move this in here, and 
it's in the right place. Now we have to we have to actually coordinate it with this piece over here. So we want to move this up to here, this up to here. But if I dyno it, I'm going to move this uh, out of the way. So what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a two by two move to bring it away from this. Now I can't do a UI move, so I'm just going to do a one, two, three, or an uh, RI move rather. Okay, once I've done that, I'm now free to uh, move this where I want it. So now I can do a dyno move here, and now I can do my two by two move up to here. Okay, so once again, I'm getting all the um, these wedge pieces by the center, and that's for the purposes of reducing these corners to create my first side and thus my first half. All right, so where is the next, uh, this one over here? I move this into here. This likes the center, but this is in the wrong place. It's gotta be over here. So I'm just gonna take it out. Now this one is the first piece we've had that is not upside down. Move this here, move this up, and you can see that it's in. I do the final one on this side. So fine, okay, it's right over here. Uh, being wary of the side that I'm using, so I don't wanna move it from here because that'll take this out. So we're just gonna sort of wheel it all the way around. And this is facing down so I can move it from here and not affect these sides here. And when I move this, it's upside down, so no problem. Do a two by two move, and then move it into position, and it's in. Okay, so now we have two of our corners in, and it's correlated with this white side. Now what goes over here? Well, let's just find another white. Here's a white, and there's a purple over here. Um, now, ideally, I'd, I'd like to find a white and green, which is here. White and green, because I know that's gonna be white and green over here. This center, it's gonna be this color over here, which is brown. As you can see, this is not brown, so I have to find the brown center and do a two by two move to move it in over here. So let's find ourselves a brown center. Right over here. Okay, so um, bearing in mind um, the corners that I got in, I'm gonna move my center, my brown center, into place. And I like to move it into this spot over here. Boom. Okay. So brown center is here. I'm gonna find my other white and green, which is right here. And this is gonna correlate with this center here. That's what I use to correlate with the center. And I'm just gonna see if I can roll it in. I put it in here, it rolls in. And now I just need to um, dyno it up, but that's gonna be affected. So I'm just gonna move it down away from here, a two by two move down, one, two, three, my equivalent of UI. And once I've done that, now I'm gonna rotate it. Um, I think like so. Yeah. And now I'm gonna two by two it up. Okay, so that's in. Now I wanna get these guys in. Find uh, the other white and brown. Well, now I, now I just need to look for the browns. Right over here, here's a brown. I can pop that in here, but you can see it's in the wrong place. It belongs over here. So let's move it out of the way. Oop, look at that. This, this happened to be in the right place. Now, I'm gonna move this. This is just temporary, so I'm not worried about that. So move this like so, bring it in, move it up. So that's just dino moves. Okay, now I need my final white, which will tell me what this next uh, center is. And that's gonna be purple. We've got a whole bunch of purples already set up here. So I need to move this purple up to here. Now, how am I gonna do that without destroying what I have? Well, uh, I'm gonna do it as I would a corner. So I need to take this corner, just look at all this as a corner and like this. So pretend this is a two by two. How would you move this corner to here? Well, you would move it down to the bottom layer. Then I would move this in, literally do, literally do an R-I-D-I-R-D and move it up. So now this is in. The problem is that it's not quite rotated, right? And if I try to rotate it, it's gonna drag these with it. So what I wanna do is I wanna get it rotated correctly. Um, this red is over here, so let's move this down again. Let's move it away. And move this back up. So I'm isolating this um, corner on the bottom. Now I can move this any old way I want without affecting these reduced corners. I move it like so. So now that should be able to go back up. So we move this out of the way. One, two, three. And we do our RI, DI, R, and these are in. We just need one more blue, purple rather. And let's see if I can find it. Purple, 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 purple. 
purple, right over here. Um, the problem is that this, where am I? Yeah, here, here I am. So this purple is a little too snug with this. I can't move this without moving these guys here. So let's just, just do a two by two move over here and you can see it's upside down. So if it's upside down, we have to do our fancy trick. Now the problem is, is that we're gonna to start to run into these guys here. You can see this seems to be reduced. I wouldn't worry about that as of yet. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna be able to move this. And now we can do a two by two move, like so. And now I can rotate this into position, boom. So it's just a matter of positioning and what we have are reduced two by two corners and hence half the puzzle is done. So, so take a look closely at, um, at uh, what that, uh, uh, kind of what I did, uh, go back again with it. Uh, there wasn't anything new, I just did RID, RD to move these corners in. It's a matter of perspective. Um, and that if something is upside down, simply do a two by two move, just be wary of all the other, uh, of all the other pieces. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're gonna switch strategies. We're no longer gonna reduce this because that's gonna get difficult. Instead, what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this upside down, we're gonna get these pieces in. We're now gonna reduce these. Um, but we have to also decide which of these centers go over here. Um, and the, they're gonna be treated like the center of a, of a three by three, uh, of a two by two. So this is already here, so I can't tell what these centers are based on these bottom colors, but I can based on this color here, and I'll know which one to use because uh, these two colors are gonna be the same from, from the bottom to the top. So I know that this here is supposed to be a blue. So what I can do is turn this in, I know it's gonna de-reduce this, but that's, that's okay for now because it, it wouldn't work anyway. So I have to whip this around here. Okay, so so this is the proper one over here. What about this one? Is this supposed to be a green? Well, let's look for the green and yellow. And let's, let's look for the other green and yellow. It's here, and you can see it's a pink. So this is a pink triangle. That's supposed to be a pink side. So this is incorrect. Um, so I know that both of these are incorrect because it's supposed to be a pink side. So what I would like to do is I'd like to put two pieces next to each other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a corner swap, holding it like this. I'm gonna rotate these corners the same way I would do with the three by three, by doing U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. So that kept this corner the same and rotated these guys around. And that's what I'm gonna do. So keeping the blue here, I'm gonna go U, R, U, I, but I can't do a U, I, because I won't do it. I have to do a three U, two, three, U, I, then an Li, but I can't do an Li, so I have to do a one, two, three L. So U R U I L I. Is it working? Like do you see? Then U R I. So I have to go one, two, three. U I and then L. Okay. So that flipped things around, and let's see if it's where we want it to be. So there's a pink one here, and that's what we wanted. So blue is here, pink is here. What's supposed to go here? Let's look for the orange and blue. Here's an orange and blue, and that's supposed to be silver. You can see it's not silver over here. So that means these two corners are correct, and these two corners have to be flipped. Well, we know how to do that, and that's just doing a, that's just doing a um, uh, adjacent corner swap. And the way that looks, if, if you recall, let's see if I can find that here. Okay. So this is the equivalent of um, this situation. This situation is where these two corners have to be swapped, and that's 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Turn the puzzle 90 degrees counterclockwise, then 2R UI, 2R U, 2R. And turn this back. That's what we're going to do. So keeping in mind, this is our R move, and these are the corners that we're going to be swapping. So that's 2R U. 2R UI, but I can't do a UI, so 1, 2, 3, UI, 2R. Turn the puzzle counterclockwise, 90 degrees, then 2R UI, 2R U, and 2R. Okay, and we'll turn this back. 
So now everything should be where it needs to be. You can see the silver one, or rather the white one, is now here, here. So these centers, these, these corners, are now coordinated correctly. So that's what we needed to do. So now what we can do is start getting these guys in. Uh, now, where is this supposed to be in conjunction with the proper places? Well, green and orange. Let's find our green and orange. So pink is supposed to be here. If this is correct, all the rest are correct. Red, green, just to confirm that. Red and green is supposed to be blue, it's blue. Okay, so here's what we do next. This takes a little bit of finagling, so just kind of stick with me. I'm gonna look for the other green and orange, and I have to put that here. So the green and orange is here, and here's what has to happen. If I turn this up here, what I want to do is I need to put this, I need to put it into this position. So I'd like the green and orange to be here. And when I turn this over here, you see it's not. So it's 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 in this position over it's in this position over here, because what's going to happen is that when I put this here, I'm going to bring this up, move this into place, dyno this into place, and two by two it down, and then bring it down over here. So what I first need to do is I need to move this in a different orbit. It's in the wrong orbit because when I move this here, it's not going to end up going in the right place. Yeah, so I, I gotta bring it over here. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm just gonna put it in a different orbit. Now bear in mind your your centers. To put this in a different orbit, so if it's if it's easier to, to visualize, um, but you're gonna be kind of three cycling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move this into this spot, and then I'm gonna substitute it with another piece over here. So what that's gonna look like, it's gonna be a two by two up, to move it in a different spot, in a different orbit, then I'm going to replace it with this piece over here, this edge over here. I'm going to move it back, and then we can move this back over here. So in that way, we've conserved where our centers are. Okay, so our green and red, a yellow rather, is right here. Now, if I were to move this, now, if I move this up to here where I want it, you're going to see that I'm taking this piece out. So I'm going to do a typical dyno up, up, down, down. Just a very simple three cycle. And now this is where it needs to be to come into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare it. I'm going to move this up to here. This is where I want it to be. And um, what I'm going to do actually is before it's here, I'm going to move this down to here. i got to move this to here. So we're going to go down, down, up, up. The reason why I'm going to do that is because when I move this piece up, then I'm going to substitute it with this to move into place. So we're going to take this out. So two by two this up. Then I'm going to dyno this in so that this is in place. Then two by two it down. If I can't, i got to go three the other way. One, two, three. I know it gets kind of confusing. Once I've done that, I'm now going to move this back, undoing everything that I did, and move this back down. Splat. So it's, what you're going to see is this is now in, and this is where it needs to be. Okay, let's keep going with that. Let's move on to this one here. Where's a green and red? Uh, here's a green and red over here. So I'm going to just put this up to here. Now, without destroying any of these, I have to do my dynamos. Up, up, down, down. Now, in this situation, we have to see if this is in the right orbit. So if I move this up like so, the answer is yes. This can be brought down here. So when I move this here, this will move up. Then where this is, it's going to be off the side, move this to the side, and then bring it down. So what I need to do first, actually, is let's put this on this side here. Now, I could put it on this side, but when I move it up, this is going to move. So I, I, I don't want to do it that way. Um, when I move this in, I don't want to take this out. I could, but it might get confusing. So I'm going to go down, down, up, up. Okay. So remember to move this into position. We're going to two by two this up, move this in, bring this down. Oh, it went down, look at that. And then bring this back. Bring this down over here, and you'll find this is now in, and I didn't uh, cause any issues there. Okay, I, I kind of lucked out with that one because I didn't have to do that fancy switching of the orbits. So blue and red. Uh, find the other blue and red, and is it in the same orbit? It's right over here. So let's move this across over here and see what happens. So to get this into here, we're going to go down, down, up, up. 
and we find that we need it to be in this spot. If I move this here, it's got to be here and it's not. So because it's not, we need to switch its orbit. So let's do it from this perspective again. We'll go down. It actually doesn't matter where you do it, but I found it <laughs> easier to visualize like this. Up. All right. That one was dangerous. Okay. So, blue and red. So what I'm going to do is I just have to move it into this orbit. So I'm going to move it two by two it up. Take this out of the way. Uh, since I'm not using this yet, um, bring this in its place. Two by two it down. Bring this back. Okay. So my red and blue should be in the correct orbit. Let's see if I can find it. Red and blue is here. And uh, if I were to go up, up, down, down. Okay. So I'll tell you, I'm not very happy with the structure of this puzzle. It's pretty poorly put together. And I'm showing you this warts and all so you can decide if it's really worth constantly chasing after pieces. Um, in my opinion, they could have done a much better job with processing of this puzzle. Anyway, so now this is in the right place, as you can see over here. So now I want to bring this to here so that I can move it in at the proper time. So that's going to be down, down. Yes, the puzzle is really that bad. Up, up. Actually, this is happening a little more than usual but I'm not going to pretend to tell you that it doesn't happen all the time. It does! So they should post the warning. This is an eye hazard and a choking hazard and a maddening hazard. Okay, so we're going to move this over to here. Uh, we're going to move this up. Dino this in. Move this down, but i got to go one, two, three. Then we can move this back and move this back over here. So now you can see this is here. So the strategy is fun, but the puzzle is horribly put together. Okay, we have one more to go, and that's this one. That's orange and blue. Find the other orange and blue right over here. Okay, is it in the right place? And we got lucky, it is in the right place. So let's move it to here. Down, down, up, up. Roll it back over to here. Move this up. Dino it in, move it back down, can't do it, so go the other way, one, two, three, move this back here, and down here. Okay, so all these guys are in over here. Now is where the fun begins. Oh, uh, don't worry about that, something just didn't get turned in, and there it is. Uh, somehow this got taken out, wasn't paying attention, perhaps. So, orange and blue, let's do that again. Orange and blue is over here, so let's bring this to the end. Up, up. Okay, so this is now, uh, so this will be a good chance to show what to do if your last one is in the wrong orbit, which it is, it's not where it needs to be. So we need to exchange it. So I'm gonna put it here, down, down, up, up. I'm gonna um, switch it with this. So we're gonna bring this up, one, two, three. Bring this in, and back down, and bring this back over here. Okay, now that it's in the right orbit, let's move it to here. Down, down, up, up. Okay, so let's see what it was that, that led us astray here. I'm going to move this in, like thus. Okay. Bring this up, turn it in, bring this down, and turn this back. And there goes the other one. Okay, this one was here, I'm sure. Way to go, with Eden. That's an excellent job at putting up quality puzzles that everybody can enjoy. And down over here. Okay, so now all of these are in, despite the frustration and holding back my temper. So now, uh, now we see what we have here. Now you might see that a couple are already in, and that's probably what you're going to see. This is in, and this is in. So uh, if we try to put this where we want them to be, you'll find that some of them might be actually upside down. 
So this is upside down, and this guy is also upside down. So if I went down, down, up, up, you can see it does me no good that these are in because they're upside down. These two need to be flipped, these two need to be flipped, and these are all completely out. So what we're gonna do is as much as we can, we're gonna put the correct ones in. So this one is in, let's find the other green and yellow, which is right over uh, here. So let's move this opposite here. Let's move this here to see if it's in the right place. Up, up, down, down. I do these down moves a lot so I don't mess up anything that I did down here. And uh, let's see, uh, green and yellow. So this is not exactly in the right place. This actually needs to be here to come into this spot. So I need to flip this. I need to do, uh, I need to do an exchange. So what I'm gonna do is move this off to the side somewhere. As yeah, this 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 needs to go into a different orbit. So let's go ahead and move this down here. Um, doesn't matter where we're really down, down, up, up. Okay. So I'm looking at this green and yellow, and I'm going to substitute it with this. Even though this appears to be reduced, it's not. It's flipped upside down, so we can't use it anyway. Um, okay. So I'm going to move this up like so. Well, here here's the problem though. Um, I think I want to move this to this side. Well, actually, it, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take this out because when I move this up, I would like to flip it in with this side over here. With uh, uh, that, uh, That's just because when I turn it, it's um, when I turn it from this side, it's going to move some of the things that we already have in. So we're going to go turn, turn, up, up. Once again, way to go with Eden. That's that's good work. Good work, boys. Okay. Um, don't even know what I moved. Uh, yeah, okay, so, so it was this one over here. So what I'm gonna do is um, move this in like so, make my exchange, and move it back and move this in over here. Okay, this puts this back over to here. And now what should have been done is that the uh, green and orange, yellow rather, was put in the right place, which it was. So I'm gonna take this and move it to here so that when I move this up, I can move this into place, but from here. So turn, turn, turn. Turn, okay. So just to visualize what we're doing, this is gonna come up, this is gonna come into this slot, and then it's gonna come down. Yeah, I think, right. Okay, so two by two it up. I can't, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Now I'm gonna move this into position. I'm gonna bring, bring it back down, and bring this back down over here. So now you can see this is all in, and this should be in the right spot. Okay, so none of this was touched. This is okay over here, and let's see what we've got. Now it looks like we've reduced all of them, right? But how much of them are upside down and how much of them are not? Well, this is where it needs to be, this is where it needs to be, and this is where it needs to be, but they're upside down. You're gonna find a variety of different versions of that. So what we're gonna do is we have to do our algorithm to get things to uh, flip around. I need this to end up over here. So. This is the fun part because now we have to decide how we're going to do that. We know the algorithm will take this to here, this to here, and this to here. So if I wanted to, say, somehow bring this into this spot, what I could do is I could two by two this over to here. And then bring this to here. Now I just have to remember what I did because eventually this will end up in this spot over here. So we just have to bear that in mind. Now I might have a sacrificial lamb. This might be used. Um, this this might end up being sacrificed. But what if I did this? Now what I'm trying to do is put this into this spot over here. And there may be a better way of doing it. For instance, if I hold it over here, these two are going to switch. 
So maybe what I can do is bring this over to here. So right now I haven't really done anything. I've just reoriented the puzzle. And ultimately I'm gonna to wanna to get this guy and move it into here somehow. So I'm gonna move this up to here like so. So this is gonna instantly start to participate in the algorithm. And then I'm gonna go like this. Boom. And then I'm gonna turn this over to here. Now, to find my way back home, I just have to have an anchor piece. So I know if I turn this here, then I can sort of find my way home. This is a dyno, and then I'm gonna do a two by two up, and that should find my way back home. So I'm gonna move this here. By doing this algorithm twice, I'll land this to here. So this will slide to here, and then the yellow will end up here, while the orange ends up here. So we're gonna do that algorithm twice, and I'm not gonna knock out anything uh, else. So it's gonna be R, U, R, I, U, I. This turns here, then U, R, U, I, R, I. This turns back. Now, that was the best turning that it's done so far. Well, maybe one, two, three. Okay, so basically, this did go to here. Now I'm gonna, gonna do the algorithm again. This will slide this to here, which is where I want it. Yellow to here, uh, orange to here. So R, U, R, I, U, I, do a D, then reverse it, U, R, U, I, R, I, and reverse this. Boom. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is find my way back home because I think I got what I wanted here. So as I recall, this went down to here. Then I did a two by two move to bring this up. But I, I gotta go one, two, three. And now I did a skew move to here. Okay, so what did that do for me? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> So I think what that did is that actually put this over to here. So now we have really just a three cycle. So uh, at the end of the day, what that did is um, this piece went to here. This piece with the orange end went to here. And I think this piece went to here. Yeah, so that was a nice three cycle here. So let's see if we can get creative to do what we've got to do with, uh, with the rest. Okay, so what I would like to do is this Red and orange needs to find its way to here. And this guy needs to find its way to here. Okay, so this is what's gonna be participating first. I could just go like that, so that's in position. So this orange is gonna to slide to here with the yellow to here, so that's perfect. All right, so my first move is a dino move to here so that I can get this to here, so that this can participate. This red and orange, I would like to slide into here. So I'm gonna do a two by two move to bring it down here. And then I'm gonna do a dino move to bring it to here. So now that's all set up for this to be the final algorithm. I just have to remember to dino this back, two by two it here, and then it should be easy to discover. So let's do it again. Hopefully it won't collapse on me. This should be the final move. R, U, R, I. Yeah, one, two, three. That's U. Bring this like so. Then undo it. U, R, U, I, R, I. And this comes back. One, two, three. Okay. Now, as I recall, we did a dyno move over to here. We did a two by two move up to here. We finished with a dyno move here and done. So finished. Uh, it's a very appealing puzzle in that it's got a, a couple of nice little challenges. Anytime you do um, a, a scramble of a more complex puzzle like a master version, there's a reductive process. So it's a nice process of reducing corners followed by a layer by layer. 
uh, getting uh, the corners in in the proper position, doing the right setups so that you can uh, do some algorithms, uh, do some commutations, then just one final algorithm to get the pieces back in with an algorithm that you can design and you can even design a completely different one with a different commutator. So it's got all the aspects of puzzle solving that I enjoy. It's got a nice little structure to it. The problem is, is it does not move well at all. It does pop on you sometimes more than others. Is it worth it? To me it is. Uh, they're both worth it. So I would say sure, but just understand that um, unless you do a lot of finagling with it, it's, it could be very frustrating for you, but it is easy to pop in. There you have it, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Down. 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 And in.